does run over. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. For this night will merry, merry be. For this night will merry, merry be. For this night will merry, merry be. Tomorrow we'll get sober. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. For this night we'll merry, merry be. For this night we'll merry, merry be. For this night we'll merry, merry be. Tomorrow we'll get sober. Here's to he that drinks strong beer and goes to bed quite mellow. Here's to he that drinks strong beer and goes to bed quite mellow. He lives as he ought to live, lives as he ought to live, lives as he ought to live, and dies a hearty fellow. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. For this night we'll merry, merry be. For this night we'll merry, merry be. For this night we'll merry, merry be. Tomorrow we'll get sober. Brandy cures the gout, they say, the colic and the tizic. Brandy cures the gout, they say, the colic and the tizic. So it is to all good men, so it is to all good men, so it is to all good men, the very best of physic. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. For this night we'll merry, merry be, for this night we'll merry, merry be, for this night we'll merry, merry be. Tomorrow we'll get sober. And he that courts a pretty girl and courts her for his pleasure. He that courts a pretty girl and courts her for his pleasure. He is a fool to marry her. He is a fool to marry her. He is a fool to marry her. Oh, without stores of treasure. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. Come, landlord, fill the flowing bowl until it does run over. For this night we'll merry, merry be. For this night we'll merry, merry be. For this night we'll merry, merry be. Tomorrow we'll get sober. So now dance and sing and drive away your sorrow so now let us dance and sing and drive away your sorrow for perhaps we may not for perhaps we may not for perhaps we may not all meet again tomorrow come landlord fill the flowing bowl until it does run over come landlord fill the flowing bowl until it does run over for this night we'll merry merry be for this night we'll merry merry be for this night we'll merry merry be tomorrow we'll get sober Welcome, dear neighbors. Welcome to our new home. And a fine home it is, sir. We're honored you're with us. Midwinter's chill will not chase away our merriment tonight. Sir, Mr. Pemberton and I shall endeavor to do our very best for you. My departed sisters, Osma, Mr. Bakes spoke very highly of you gentlemen. He heard you play when he was in Cincinnati, recently on business. The reputation you gentlemen possess is beyond reproach. Now there are two things which never keep company. And what would that be there? Mr. Bakes and a good reputation. Why, he was in Cincinnati cavorting with that brazen Esther Hill. Such a hussy. Jacob has been very busy at the punch bowl today. He became enthralled with it during the trips down river to New Orleans. Ah, following the river then, Mr. Weaver. Three times. What did you find when there? Mr. Bakes' reputation for strong drink, I fear. Sadly, only the Mississippi complaint. <laughs> I'm neither the better nor the worse for it. Well, I'd say part of you was the worse for it. So. <laughs> I bet that kept you running for some time. I don't understand, Mother. He has aggressive dysentery. I still don't understand. Madam Weaver, I detect an accent about your speech. Are you not native-born? No. <laughs> I was born in Vevey, Switzerland. So there's a sea voyage in your past. Indeed. Though a young girl, I remember it well. <laughs> Mr. Menace, let us favor this fine lady with a song of the sea. Ah, with some lyrics of my own composition. Uh -huh. 
Farewell and adieu to you, Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. For we received orders to sail for Virginia. We hope in a short time to see you again. We'll rent and we'll roar like true Yankee sailor men. Rent and we'll roar on deck and below until we start soundings on the coast of Cape Henry. Straight up the channel, the Norfolk will go. Now I've been a top and I've been a gunner's mate. I can dance, I can sing, I can walk the jib, boom. Can handle a cutlass or cut a fine figure. Whenever I'm in a long boat standing room, we'll rent and we'll roar like true Yankee sailor men. We'll rent and we'll roar on deck and below until we strike soundings on the coast of Cape Henry. Straight up the channel, the Norfolk will go. Now I went to a dance one night in Boston Plenty of girls as fine as you'd wish And one pretty maiden was chewing tobacco Like a young kitten chewing on fish We'll rant and we'll roar like drink murky sailor men Like to roll roar on deck and below Until we strike soundings on the coast of Cape Henry Straight up the channel to Norfolk we'll go well, I worked on a ship that was called Constitution. John Bull and his men tried to give us the slip. But Gary Air found us a tough nut to crack, boys. Soon she was ours and her flag she did dip. We'll rent and we'll roar like true Yankee sailor men. We'll rent and we'll roar on deck and below. Until we sight soundings on the coast of Cape Henry. Straight on the channel to Norfolk we'll go. So farewell and adieu to you, Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you girls of Cadiz. I'll be you all merry, don't be melancholy. I'd marry you all if me wife would agree. We'll rent and we'll roar like true Yankee sailor men. Rent and we'll roar on deck and below. Until we strike soundings on the doors to Cape Henry. Straight up the channel to Portsmouth we'll go. Well, that song, it's a British origin, is it not? It is. Mr. Menace merely improved it. Ah, improved it. Like we did in 1776. We took Johnny Bull's idea and improved it. Mr. Weaver, your father served in the war, did he not? He did. He was in the third New York line. Ah, oh, your father, is it? My whole family was in that war. He's a venerable hero, mother. <laughs> Mr. Pemberton. Let's play our gallant hero a song of freedom. Nine men to guard the British wreck, and five to watch the town above, and two to stand at either end, and one to let old ten around. He had eighty weight of Spanish iron between his neck bone and his knee. But Billy took Johnny up under his arm And locked him away right manfully And Billy broke locks and Billy broke bolts And Billy broke all that he came nigh Until he came to the dungeon door And that he broke right manfully So he stole him a horse and away he did ride And who but they he rode gallantly Until they came to the river bank to the river running wild and free. The British were coming close on their heels, and who but they stood fearfully. So Billy took Johnny up on his back and carried him over it easily. And Billy broke locks, and Billy broke bolts, and Billy broke all that he came nigh. Until he came to the dungeon door, and that he broke right man for life. Oh, Billy, oh, Billy, the sheriff says he, you're the damnedest rascal I ever did see. Come give me back the iron you stole, and I will let your prisoner free. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, Billy says he, oh, no, oh, no, that can never be. The iron will do, or horses to shoe, the blacksmith rides in our company. And Billy broke locks, and Billy broke bolts, and Billy broke all that he 
until he came to the dungeon door, and that hero bright man for life. So they called at the inn for a room for to dance, and who but they danced merrily. The very best dancer among them all was old John Webb, who was just at free. And Billy broke locks, and Billy broke bolts, and Billy broke all that he came nigh. Until he came to the dungeon door, and that he broke right hand for life. Friends, let us toast our republic and great Washington. To great Washington, the guarantor of our independency. And let us not forget the new Washington to General Andrew Jackson, the hero of New Orleans. And our new president. All Switzerland County stood with the general in last November's election. Mr. Menace, these hot winds of politics call for a song. Agreed, Mr. Pemberton. And what better song than the general's own campaign song? Let us honor our neighbors south of the River Ohio. What? Kentuckians? Not just Kentuckians, the hunters of Kentucky. Ye gentlemen and ladies fair who grace this famous city, just listen if you time to spare while I rehearse a ditty. And for the opportunity, conceive yourselves quite lucky, for tis not often that you see a hunter from Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. We are a hardy, freeborn race, each man to fear a stranger. Whate'er the game, we join in chase, despising toil and danger. And if a daring foe annoys, whate'er his strength and forces, we'll show him that Kentucky boys are alligator horses. Oh, Kentucky, oh, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. I suppose you've read in all the prints how Packingham attempted to make old Hickory Jackson wince, but soon his scheme repented. For we, with rifles ready cocked, thought such occasion lucky, and soon around the general flocked the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. You've heard, I suppose, how New Orleans is famed for wealth and beauty. There's girls of every hue, it seems, from snowy white to sooty. So Packenham, he made his brags, if he in fight was lucky, he'd have their girls in cotton bags in spite of old Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. But Jackson, he was wide awake and was not scared of trifles. For well he knew what aim we take with our Kentucky rifles. So he led us down by Cypress Swamp. The ground was low and mucky. There stood John Bull in martial pump. And here was old Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. A bank was raised to hide our breasts, not thought we thought of dying, but that we always like to rest unless the game is flying. Behind it stood our little force, none wished it to be greater, for every man is half a horse and half an alligator. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. They did not let our patience tire before they showed their faces. We did not choose to waste our fire, so snugly kept our places. But when so near we saw them wink, we thought it time to stop them. And it would have done you good, I think, to see Kentuckians drop them. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. The British found was vain to fight where lead was all their booty. And so they wisely took to flight and left us all the beauty. And now if danger ever annoys, remember what our trade is. Just send for us Kentucky boys and we'll protect you ladies. Oh, Kentucky, 
the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. <laughs> you don't say much, do you, Fiddler? Herr Weaver, the good Lord gave me two eyes, two ears, and only one mouth for a reason. When the time for talking comes, it will be my fiddle which speaks. Those are words of wisdom, daughter. Your father spoke very little of his time in the Revolution. Mm. Father's a very proud man. He cautioned us never to speak of deeds. Rather, he taught us to do them. What some have seen in their youth remains hidden. Rarely do they ever give these inner feelings voice. To some, maybe. Not to me. We'd come from Kentucky. Collings and I and several others. It's right before the war. We founded a, a new town called Pigeon Roost. It was heaven on earth. There was peace that seemed safe. They came in September, Shawnee. They came to Elias's house first. His wife, seven children, all dead, scalped, left in their own gore. I found Elias later in the woods. He bled to death in my arms. I didn't have the heart to tell him about his family. Henry's, Henry's wife, his unborn child, stabbed in her pregnant belly. <laughs> we heard later <laughs> that the scalp of the babe was presented in Detroit as a trophy. 24 of my friends and neighbors, 15 of them children, gone in a flash. I will forever dwell in the hell of that day. Perhaps someone should answer the door? I see what your father meant about deeds, husband. Mother, why did all the singing and laughing stop? We were worried. Can I help? You just did, child. Why are you singing tonight, Mother? To fulfill dreams. I have dreams. I don't. It's too cold upstairs. Oh, oh, never give up on your dreams. You both know that winter will end and spring will come, do you not? And spring is the time for new dreams. That means your old dreams didn't come true. Oh, yes they did, Dottie.
Mother, do you still dance like that? Since your father died, I don't have a man to sign my dance card. Well, I hear Mr. Pemberton over there is available. Really? Who told you that? Esther Hill. Friends, as the days grow longer, I know that spring will arrive. Mr. Menace, Mr. Pemberton, as our time for parting has arrived, may we have one final song? I can think of no finer one than this. Of all the money that e'er I've had, I've spent it in good company. Of all the harm that e'er I've done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit to men. Good night.